Hey everyone, Larry Newsman here, Principal Product Manager for GitLab Runner Core and Free Visibility here at GitLab. For today's um, speed run, I'm doing a quick overview of the new improved CL logs management experience for more than like commands. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm super excited about this particular feature. In fact, we just today um, released a new blog post kind of describing how to use this new feature. So I'm super excited about the work that's done on this one. Uh, you can have a look at the blog post again, it just got released today. The name of the post is Inside the Improved CLX Management Experience for Multi-Line Commands. And so all the details are actually here in this blog post in terms of how this is all gonna work. But for this speed run, I'm just gonna kind of quickly take you over to my screen, show you it in real time and, so, and, and take a quick look. I actually really, really love this feature. So I'm just gonna pop over here to my example project that I've got set up. And this example project, it mirrors exactly what you're seeing in the blog post. I've got my .gitlab-ci-yaml file here. And the main thing you want to look at in terms of testing this feature first with all the feature flag enabled um, is this line four, where we have ff underscore script underscore sections and the value is false. And so with this particular um, setting, the, um, the um, multi-line command output feature set actually won't be turned on. You'll see the the script block um, in the way that you, you are typically used to seeing it. So let's go ahead and um, and kick off a pipeline with that. It's just maybe it's a quick change to this so we can get a pipeline kicked off. Uh, make something simple in terms of a change. Yeah, it works. Hit commit. All right, and we'll have a look at that pipeline. So we should just have one job in there. Actually two, let's take a look. This is the bow job. Are we just setting things up? Wait for that to finish. And then it's the one that uh, we're probably gonna be interested in in terms of looking at how this feature works. So the usual getting the container image ready steps are happening here on our science runners, preparing the environment. And here in a couple of seconds, we should actually start kicking off the script. Okay, done. That job has actually already been succeeded. So you'll see right here that um, on line 17, this whole section is collapsible, right? So from line 17 all the way to what, line 43, um, it's collapsible. What's interesting is that in our actual pipeline file, we had some echo commands and so at line 19 um, is where in our CS pipeline farms and hopefully in the log file, you'd have expected to see the actual commands, the script commands um, highlighted here. With this particular flag not enabled, you're not seeing that. So let's go ahead and switch to another branch really fast. Uh, let's go to the repo. I think I've got a branch already set up to go. Uh, yeah, feature flag enabled. And in this particular branch, the only difference here now is going to zoom in just a little bit. The line four, the FF script sections is enabled to true. So let's just go ahead and like make a quick change. So we can keep up a pipeline here. Brilliant, commit. And then we'll quickly watch the difference here in the log output um, for this. And so for those that are paying attention, you can see here, um, setting on line 12 where the script lock is for this particular job. In the echo statement, we've got multiple commands being, gen right? Setting here line 13, there are multiple commands under the script lock. And that's kind of what we want to know when we want to see in the log output is can you, you know, will we be able to see those commands expanded in the log output? So let's go ahead and jump over to our pipeline. Looks like this is actually kicked off already. It's pretty close to being done. Let's have a quick look. I almost think I should have the Jeopardy song playing, but I don't. But it should only take a couple more seconds before it's done. Ah, there we go. All right, brilliant. 
So um, if you're paying close attention, and again, we've got screenshots um, with all of these, this, these details in the blog post that we link, you can see now here at line 19, you can actually see that that section is now collapsible and the echo, the actual script sections and the actual commands that was written into our pipeline file, file is displayed here. So that's really the cool thing that we've added with this particular picture. I'm super excited about this. And again, one other thing to call out really fast is that here on line um, 47, this is like this, and actually starting on line 36, um, is where if you wanted to have a custom collapsible section, this is what it looks like if you use the, the custom collapsible section sort of syntax in your pipeline file. So really, really super excited to see this feature. And in the next iteration, we've got some other things planned in terms of adding additional timestamps into the logs as well. So that's it for this, um, for this quick speed run. Um, talk to you next time. Cheers.